All right, welcome back. So we're going to continue on um, filling in these uh, mining areas in this episode. A couple of little things just to uh, to start with. These trees, which are going insane. I'm just going to stop him from planting. I'm just going to keep him on cut at the moment. There's loads of trees around here, so if it starts to thin out, then we can always start him to plant it again. But yeah, you can sort of see, can't you? They're going a bit of a, a different colour. We're in early autumn now, and it's uh, going from sort of green to brown. And considering we're on a tropical setting, it's um, it's not the sort of look we want. Um, you can sort of see it over here as well. You can see it's it's gone over the canal, and these trees are starting to fill this area in, which is no bad thing really, because it was looking a bit empty. So. So yeah, we'll just turn that off and just keep it on cut at the moment. Um, tools are dropping, so there's a there's a possible temporary measure. I'm just going to throw a couple of um, blacksmiths down, just because I don't want to go too low before we finish off our mining area. Um, but we're going to uh, have a bit of a kickstart on that this episode. So just for the time being, let's just throw in uh, one, two three and they'll hopefully get this number back up to two and a half thousand it's where we like to keep it so uh, yeah let's see what this trader's got um, food we've got you on an auto purchase haven't we but I might push this auto purchase up because we've got grains here and we don't really need grain I mean a little bit because we're not bringing enough barley in to keep these uh, bakers happy so I'm not going to take the grain off um, but I'll probably find I've got a lot of wheat and stuff that we're not actually using so I think maybe just buy a little bit of food yeah you can see they've bought some already um, can I be bothered? oh no I can't be bothered we've still got 150,000 when it hits 100,000 then we're gonna have to start doing things about that so uh, so yeah let's go um, back over here and uh, let's start having a bit of a play um, yeah, we need guys in in these mines, don't we? So let's put these up to five each. We can get them going at full capacity maybe a little bit later on once we've got this area, this sort of district up here set up. But for now, give them five each. We've got enough houses to cover them. Um, so that's not a problem. And yeah, so we'll have all these at the top gold and we'll change these to silver or we're not going to bother with the rough gemstones at the moment but we'll we'll come back to that because we do want to uh, we do want to get into sort of making jewelry and stuff so yeah these are all silver ore that's good um, only a another thing that was just annoying me slightly there's a, a little gap behind this market stall so I just want to fill the road in there but really this is too big there needs to be a road here as well so before it gets too much stuff placed on it let's destroy it and uh, we'll put a uh, sort of two by whatever it is six or eight or something and put another road there just so it looks a bit nicer um, what else what else what else not a huge amount more to do really other than to, to get building so uh, let's draw another line across here uh, we'll start it up again Hit on 10. And uh, hopefully these can get built. Now our build is 34 of 79. We've got loads of builders, so let's just match it. In fact, let's give them 100 because we're going to put some houses down here. Um, now in terms of houses, I think we're going to stick with a log cabin theme. But maybe just do different uh, styles. There's not actually that many to choose from in terms of the log houses. I think there's just four models, but let's have a look. spin this round so um, yeah see now I quite like this one this one's got a bit of a porch on the front of it as well we've used the two L shaped models and then there's this model as well so I think yeah for now let's use this one we'll stick with the same sort of theme sort of four blocks of four um, one two three four yeah so we'll do two and then we'll leave a space for a bit of road Same again, bit of space. OK, 
Okay, and then we'll just flip this around. And yeah, which model do we want now? The veranda one. Now I'm just going to leave a gap in between these two, uh, and I'll explain why uh, once these have been built. So yeah, let's, uh, let's leave a gap. Bit of road space there. Two together. The gap for the roads. Yeah. Okay. And then the final one. Lovely. Okay. Um, well, I don't really need to wait for these to be built to explain why. Basically, if, if we have them pushed up right next to each other. There's a bit of space on the back of these houses, so it just makes it look uh, a bit too grassy. So to break it up, um, we'll just put a, another road down the centre. And then, instead of getting sort of a double thickness of grass, and we're going to get this little bit on each side of the road. Bring this down to the front. And uh, yeah, so here we're going to be using iron and coal. So it would probably be beneficial to put in some blacksmiths and we obviously need them <laughs> so yeah let's throw a couple of these in um, let's be fairly generous with spacing as well let's leave a, yeah, a little gap there um, yeah and just putting more roads in as I say just to help us see what we're doing do we need a space at the back? yeah and let's get our trusty market, our small market. And how much space do we want to leave here? Yeah, let's try and put that central. There we go. Um, yeah, traders are coming in. Let's just check these traders because I want coal. And there we go, coal. So, how much do we want for this? How much can we afford? Let's start with 2,000. And let's see what we can do. Thousand silk. Um, let's make it two thousand instead of two hundred. And we're overpaying, so let's boost the coal. Bit of a tip. Uh, we'll have to wait for the hardwood just for the time being, because I want to get as much coal in as possible, so we can start uh, getting our guys to uh, to make steel tools. In fact, to be honest. Um, Coal, coal, coal. Yeah, I mean that sort of two and a half, three thousand we've just bought will be enough for us to set off this guy onto steel tools. And we'll set um, this guy off on steel tools as well. 114, 113, 110. <laughs> Lots of people ill at the moment. Um, so that should keep our labour rate under control and hopefully stop the food from dropping too much. Let's, uh, let's throw a guy in here uh, so he can make some iron tools. Let's get back up to this area. Okay, so what do we need? We need some more road, don't we? Yeah. Okay, pop that in there and let's get another blacksmith on the go. I want to upgrade these blacksmiths pretty much straight away because we've got coal coming in here. So um, uh, yeah, we need to upgrade them to be able to make the steel tools. Uh, death, 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 death. Okay. Yep. Okay. No pr real problems at the moment. As I say, we've got loads of people, so I've got no problem with uh, thinning the herd a bit. Okay. Um. Well, yeah, they're going to need some stockpiles, aren't they? So we could just lay some around the blacksmiths. We've got a bit of a gap at the back as well. So let's do that here. And I think there's a gap. Yeah, there's a gap there behind this guy. And just uh, usual colouring in. Just make sure everything's all nice and neat. Brilliant, okay. Should I have made these one? Yeah, I maybe should have made these um, one less in length. And where are we going? Roads, 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 roads. 
There we go. Just fill those little gaps in. And uh, yeah, we'll put that stop power back in. So yeah, they'll have um, somewhere to store all the goods here. We could possibly put another little stop pile in. Continue all pinging when everyone dying is annoying. Um, let's extend the road here a little bit and just put another stop pile in here because hopefully they'll be generating a decent amount of iron and coal out of this section. So what do we want? A 3x8? Yeah, let's just throw that in. And um, yeah, let's put some more houses in. Uh, sticking with the log cabins. Let's use that fourth model that we haven't used. So it's this one, isn't it? And then instead of them facing outwards, let's face these ones inwards. Well, terrain's a little... Yeah, terrain's a little bumpy here. Let's... Um, Let's flatten this off, just for now. And we're probably going to need to um, deform this as well, just so we can fit the house into a nice rectangle. How are things going? We've got miners 96. Okay, so we need to um, we need to put those miners in. These have been built as well, so let's make sure these are on. Yeah, that's 10 each, I think. Change these ones to coal. And our miners, let's have a look. 76, okay. Um, well, yeah, 76. Now, why are they on 76? They should be on 80, shouldn't they? Uh, 10, 10, 10, 10. Did I get sidetracked and not finish this section over here? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. 5, 10. There we go, yeah. Um, let's make sure that's up at 80. So it's going to take them a while to start producing stuff. So we could set some of our smelters off. We've got gold uh, coming out of this top one. We can either make gold gilders, silver fenix, gold bars, or, sil or silver bars. So we're going to hang fire for the gold and silver bars, and we'll stick with the gilders and fenix for the time being, because we've already put buildings in that require those. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Let's turn this one off. Let's turn that one off. So you can go in there and you can start producing silver phoenix. Put another guy in there. And then obviously we can put more guys in these as well once we start churning out the goods. Uh, we can finish this section off here as well now. They've removed that stockpile. So let's put the road piece in. And uh, finish off with the stockpile. So yeah, this section is pretty much done now. This little the gold silver mining community over here. Have they flattened this off for us? Yes, they have. Nice. So let's uh, let's continue on and try and get this iron and coal mining um, operation finished as well. Log cabins. Yeah. And uh, again, rinsing and repeating. A bit of space for the road. Round, change the camera angles, let's see what we're doing. Um, yeah, let's give them a two wide road down here. There's no need to not be generous. So let's just get our flattening tool so we can squidge this one in. And it has to take a little bit wider. There. That should be all we need, I think. Hopefully. Uh, let's have a look. Try and get this last house in. Yeah, that fits quite nicely there. Um, I'm just going to get this flattening tool again, and I'm just going to run 
it down the back here just so we can get a road down there. That should be flat then, shouldn't it now? Because there doesn't seem to be anything on that line, so yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've noticed the traders, but uh, um, I don't want to check them uh, quickly. I just want to keep this coal coming in, but yeah, we uh, we can't at the moment, and I don't want to have this over the screen, so I should get rid of him, wait for him to come again. Um, yeah, he's taking all the expensive food, really annoying. Uh, anywho, at least he's buying it, so. Right, road. Let's get this uh, section complete as well. And then we can get a bit of canal action in as well in this episode. Okay. Right, let's uh, upgrade these two blacksmiths. Get them working. Yeah, so we can see here the circumference is more than enough to cover everything here, so that's good. Bum, bum, bum. Right, okay. Uh, we do want a stone quarry as well, and I'm thinking maybe just wedge one in here. Let's have a look, see where we can fit it. Spin this round. Yeah, so this hill's sort of protruding out and getting in our way. So. Um, how many lines have we got there that we need to flatten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Well, okay, let's play around then. How far back can we go here? Let's, uh, let's flatten that, give it a priority, and then we'll check this trade a while. We're waiting for that to get done. Whale blubber. Um, I, well, yeah, why not? Let's buy some. 16,000. Uh, oh, we can't go that far, can we, as yet? <laughs> yeah, let's buy eight. First of all, and then buy another eight. Because we have got um, an oil presser working on that, haven't we? So, down here, I think he's doing, yeah, blubber. So, well, we've got these finished, so let's um, put another couple of guys in. Still on 1100, it's not coming up as fast as I'd like, but hopefully once we've got those other two up here built in the mining area. Now, yeah, why are you moaning? It's probably because this guy's gone on to six, hasn't he? Oh, no, two. How are we doing for vendors? One, two, three, four. We've got two up there. Maybe give him three, just because he's got so far to go. How many have you got? Yeah, let's give you another one as well. Okay, right, cooking with gas. Okay, so he's flattened this, uh, well, it has been flattened for us, I should say. Let's get rid and see whereabouts we're at now for the stone quarry. Yeah, one, two, three, four, we're going to go back four more. One, two, three, four. Let's go back a fifth one as well. Um, five. Yeah. Let's hit that. <laughs> Look at that. It's just one little herb getting in our way. Let's prioritise. Come on. Get this shifted. Uh, we're going to need wool cutters and stuff up here and churches and things, but we'll, we'll get to that. Um, we want to get this stone quarry in and then maybe extend this canal, maybe cut it across. I want it to sort of uh, have a bit of a weaving effect with the canal. Nothing too much, uh, nothing too drastic, but just enough to um, differentiate it from the canal we've got on the other side. We're sort of an Amsterdam feel maybe. <laughs> just a few buildings on and around the different canals within the city. Um, how's everything else getting on? We're okay over here. Now why are you saying you're cold? Hmm. What we could do here, you know, is we could just throw in. Because they're producing... Um, well, you know what, we've, we've put this forest lodging, but I don't think we've actually put in 
um, a stockpile. So that needs to get done, otherwise he's going to end up having to trek to drop his stuff off. So How far up does that go? That's 11 by. Let's give him an 11 by 2. Mm, do we? No, let's give it 11 by 1 because it's got a huge amount of space. And then possibly throw in, yeah, just a little chopper. And then at least he'll be producing some firewood for these guys over here. Um, what have you got for us? Clothing and textiles, we know we don't want that. Uh, yeah, we, we cut this guy off, didn't we? Yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, tools, still watching them. How are we doing? We could do with prioritising these guys as well, couldn't we? Get this done. And you. So yeah, I think these houses look quite nice, don't they? Let's have a quick look. Let's get, let's get nice and low. Yeah, these little verandas, they look good, I think. And to be sort of looking onto the double rows. And uh, yeah, can you see what I mean? The way there's, there's just a bit of green behind them. So if we didn't have this road, it, it's, it just looks a bit too green, considering we've got like this sort of lattice work going on. So that's why I thought, yeah, just give it a bit of a road in between. Um, Okay, right, more flattening has been done, so let's uh, remove that and see if we can squidge this stone quarry in. Okay, so I'm going to leave one gap here because I'm thinking we could put a. I'm thinking we could put a, a stone wall around it, you know, just so no one's falling in. Let's take it back in one, one across. Throw that down. Uh, yeah, let's mark out some more road. Let's just take this all the way over here. Uh, okay, we can put a bit more road at the front here as well. And yeah, let's put some stone walls around it. So we've used these before. Um, we didn't use these pieces though. These are like these are sort of just bent in ed edges. You can use them to um, do different patterns and stuff, but instead of using the, the sort of straight uh, edge, just like that there, I'm thinking just to be a bit different, you know, let's just throw one of these in, give it a bit of a curve on the end. Um, we need our corners going in as well. So, yeah, one there. Let's do one over here as well. It's just filling in uh, the, the other pieces. Um, let's mark these trees for destruction because they're annoying me. Okay. Right. Yeah, let's get these straight pieces in. Turn this around. Let's run it around the uh, the back. And down the left. It's a bit time consuming, but uh, yeah, the end results always look good. So. Still not got rid of this tree. It's in my way. There we go. Okay, so we've got pretty much everything we need in terms of um, raw material production. Two iron mines, two coal mines, and again, that's gonna. All this is gonna hammer the tools as well. So it's uh, it's a good job we've um, getting this sorted now. Let's wang him onto steel tools as well. So they last a bit longer than the iron tools, so if we've got everyone making steel tools, then uh, yeah, this should stabilise and hopefully we can get it back up to two and a half thousand. Just make sure we get the blacksmiths in. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. You're taking your time doing this one, aren't you? Are you running low on anything? Are you just being lazy? Come on. Right, done. Let's check this trader. You brought me more coal, haven't you? Lovely. Well, we'll... Uh, 
you doing for coal? And you've got a couple of thousand. How are we for hardwood? A thousand. We're okay for hardwood. I'd rather have the coal. So let's just take uh, two thousand if we can. Do 400. Pull this down a bit. Oh, perfect. Okay, trade. Dismiss. Thank you very much. So yeah, everything else is pretty much doing okay. Um, if we're starting to struggle with these tools, I mean, we can just continue this row of them here, even if it's a temporary measure. If it looks good, we can keep them as well. Maybe put some houses behind them. Just get this area a bit more built up. Um, stone and iron. Yeah, again, we're okay, so we can go. Food, that's 140. It's going down, but uh, 100,000 is my sort of limit I've got in my head. <laughs> it's a critical limit. Um, yeah, okay, canals. Let's see what we can do. Got a bit of, a, a bit of time left in this episode, so let's uh, spin this round. It's coming along well. I, I do like these sort of jaunty pieces at the end. Go all right. Okay, canals, canals, canals. So we're on the uh, yeah the old texture, aren't we? And uh, on a time six. So let's just bring this down a bit. I have to just be careful. Um, that nothing gets clipped. So I have to keep an eye on the uh, undulations of the surface. If it starts getting a bit too bumpy, I think it's a bit yeah it's a bit bumpy down here. Yeah, maybe. Do some flattening. Down there. Now, yeah, let's see, we've got uh, 38 builders required, 137 labourers, that's because we've put a lot of people in these mining operations. But still, we need really to um, get some more of all this stuff removed so we can sort of see what we're doing. So let's take a big Sway the bit across here, give us some more room for building. And they can just sort of get on with that. And let's um, let's maybe set this to flatten as well. Just so we don't run into any problems. Douche. Okay, and that's in. Right. Very good, very good, very good. Um Yeah, what else? I'm thinking of putting some more palisade walls up here as well. Maybe sort of turn it into a its own sort of settlement. So if we were going to do that, uh, yeah, I probably want to take it down here. Maybe we just skirt this this river a bit. And yeah, if we take it all the way down to about here and across, we're sort of pretty much lining it up with where we've changed the road. So it'll work out quite nice, I think. Um, but yeah, more to do before we get to there. I think that's more sort of uh, aesthetics, isn't it, really? And we actually need to get stuff in. Food again, 133. So tools are not dropping anymore. Um, yet to start going up. Still want this guy being built. Come on. Get it done. And uh, yeah, our miners, or our quarrymen. Um, We've got loads of stone, so again, let's take this just down to 10. We don't need to over-egg it, because we've only got so much housing up here at the moment, but we should have enough, I think. Um, yeah, stone cutters. Uh, why did it say 14? There's something else bizarre that uses it on a mod that I'm not too sure what it is, so either way, let's just give them 14, keep everyone happy. Um, yeah, this has been flattened now, I think, so... Let's get rid of that. And, uh, can't bring it down too much because I want to. Yeah, I want to um, maybe bring it across here. So with that in mind, let's. Yeah, let's remove some of this road. I'm not sure how much we're going to need to remove, so I'm just going to take a slab of it off. Um, dun, 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 dun. 
Yeah, we really need to get this uh, it's a bit flattened. I may have been a bit over eager with how much I'd marked out. So, all the coal and iron getting stored here. It's looking good. I mean, these are really nice models as well, aren't they? The original mines. But yeah, that should be bringing in loads of stuff for us now. Everyone's happy. Uh, four and a half out of five. Health wise, four out of five, not too bad. Uh, herbs have gone back up now that we're not using them for purchasing goods and services. So uh, that's up to 23,000. More logs than we know what to do with. So yeah, everything's, um, everything's sort of on track. Um, yeah. It's just this is annoying me. So let's get this done. Dun, dun, dun. I'm just thinking, is there anything else we could be doing while we're waiting for that? Let's, uh, let's go back down to the entrance. I've noticed that, as I mentioned before, I was just looking out for things that were moaning. And yeah, we're getting a lot of people moaning about, well, this windmill guy just keeps running out of barley. So we might have to buy some barley. Let's see if this trader's got anything of value. Um, actually, you know what? He's brought all the things that we want for up here. So let's knock the blueprints off because we don't need those anymore. Yeah, just keep bringing us coal logs and iron. Let's see how much of it we can afford. 900, 400, and 600. So it's not brought us a huge amount. So yeah, just under 10,000. I think we shouldn't have any problems with that at all. Um, bum, bum. 500 spirits. Overpaying by 20 units. Well, you know what? Yeah, take it. We're being generous today. So, yeah, thank you very much. Oh, so, got some logs left. Well, whatever. And now, let's set this guy off to uh, steel carbon. Or carbon steel, I should say. Carbon steel, it's like uh, one of his looks from Zoolander. Okay, right, yeah. And uh, also, I've noticed that. It's not doing it now, but every time I've looked, it's always done it. But these these libraries are constantly full, 60, 59. So every time someone fills that one up, they both moan. Um, and these act as sort of churches. So, you know, we could, we could put another church down here, maybe, at the back of these stone houses, uh, just to take the pressure off these two buildings to make sure we've got enough of what we need for everyone. So, yeah, let's have a look at the, uh, at the models. Yeah, it looks nice, but I don't think it fits in, does it really? Well, I'm having this door on the front looks good. Um, yeah, hmm. What do we want? Yeah, I'm thinking this one. I think it's it's not too um, obtrusive. So let's just throw that in and see if it keeps these guys happy. Put a bit of stone road, maybe just at the front of it. I don't really want to bring stone road around here because then it's, it'll start meaning I've got to extend this. I don't really want to do that. I want to keep this um, fairly green. So. Yeah, so that's in. That was probably going to be our final lap for this particular episode. Just quickly go back here and check to make sure everything's getting done. Yeah, so this is nearly done. I think in the start of the next episode, we'll extend the canal. And, uh, let's pause this a second. And, um, yeah, we'll just we'll, we'll continue on improving this settlement. Food down to one, two, three. So, we need some sort of food sources up here, I think. Yeah, I think we're going to be doing animals uh, up here. So get a load of different pastures and try and get one of everything in. You know, just because we can. And then I'll be getting, generating a lot of different meats so we can get some more butchers on the go. And uh, yeah, maybe some more houses. And um, yeah, we need a church up here, don't we? So we get lots to do still. So yeah, I shall see you in the next episode in a bit.